Hello everyone, welcome back to the course. In this video, we are going to talk about what are the various operators in JavaScript. So these are the operators that we will be using in our day-to-day -day developer lives, in our day-to-day -day coding lives. So we have got this assignment operator which you are already aware and we have already used where everything on the right side is get assigned to the everything on the left side. Then we have got addition operator. We have got negation, which is also known as subtraction operation. Then we have got multiplication. This is increment, decrement, division, and then we have got division remainder operator. So these are the operators which are very important. And let's quickly jump into the console so that we can see how each and every operator works. So you already know, right? You already have worked on the assignment operator. So if you say that we are saying whatever the value we have on the right side which is Amit Singh, this is going to get assigned to a variable called name. So now if you try to print, print a name, you will be able to see this is the name which is saying that Amit Singh. Now, if we talk about the plus operators, which is addition operator, suppose that you have a variable value called one and one, you are saying that you have got a two or you have said that you have got a variable called number one, you have some sort of value. Then you have say that you have got a variable called number two, which is having some sort of value, which is let's say that whatever the random value have. And then you have some sort of variable num three, where you say that you've got num one plus num two. Hit enter. And if you try to print num three, you will be able to see that you have got 934 plus three, which is saying that 937. This is about subtraction operation but now suppose that you have got a value you have got num1 okay say that num1 and then you are trying to add add to some value called 10 so what is going to be the expected outcome is it going to be 3 10 13 or it is going to be 310 so it will be 310 the reason is whenever you are trying to have a plus operator okay and either side either left or right side if it gets an a string it is going to concatenate the value to the different uh, to uh, like whatever the number is which is going to be concatenated with the a string in this case we have got 10 as an a string 3 as a number it is going to concatenate 3 with the number so it will say that the outcome is 103 and in the form of a string that's why it is enclosed within double quotes now suppose that we have got a, again a one expression we say that 1 plus 3 plus 4 so what will happen this time first it is going to perform this operation it will say okay both sides are numbers let's add them it will say 4 and then now it has got 4 plus 4 within the strings it will say okay now we have got 4 on the right hand side let's concatenate it and it will become 44 and on the other hand if you say we have got 10 and we try to do the negation on the other hand, whatever it is a string, it will definitely try to convert that number to the string and then it will do the negation, it will do the subtraction. That is why here, this time, we, when we say that 10 within a single quotes and then minus 3, it is giving us 7. So this logic is only applicable in case of addition operator. On the other hand, if you try to have some sort of other operation, let's say that multiplication, it will again going to convert into the numbers instead of multiplication if you say division it will convert into the number as well and similarly if you try to have the modulo which is uh, division remainder it is also going to say that there is no modulo because 2 is directly dividend with 1 so now if you see here we have got one modulo so that was very important thing whenever you are using plus sign and you are trying to have now, if you wanted to have this, even if you wanted to have some sort of uh, operator where we say that you have a number, you have a string, but you still wanted to add. So how you can do is you can say that number and put your string within single quotes. And now it is going to convert your string to, now, to the number. So even if you simply have a number and you say whatever value you have got, it is going to give you the outcome as integer, which is going to be a number format 34. So this is about uh, you, our basic operators that we have got like plus, multiplications, subtractions, division, modulo and division. Now let's talk about one more operator. So suppose that we have got a value called let x where we have got value 4. 
Now there is one operator where we say that x plus plus and if you hit enter, it is still saying that 4. Now if you print x, it will say 5. Okay. So what is happening is it is post decrement. Post decrement is first it is going to print the value and then it will increment with 1. So this x plus plus is basically equivalent to x plus 1. So if you say that x equal to x plus 1, which is same x plus plus. Okay. And then we have one more which is saying that plus plus x. So if you do this and hit enter, what it is going to do is it is quickly going to first it is going to add one on the number that you have got and then print that. So if you see it is going to give us the seven, which is correct. Similarly, if we say that we have got x minus minus, it is going to print the seven, but now if you try to have x, it is going to give the value of six, which is post in uh, post decrements. This was post increment. And this is post decrement. Now, if you try to have minus minus x and you say that it is going to again do the negation, it is going to remove 1 and it is going to have the uh, print the value which is 5, which we say that pre decrement. There is one thing which we also say that suppose that you have got a value called 4 and then you have got a value double asterisk and then you say that 2. So, this is basically exponential power. It is saying that 4 into 4 because we wanted to have a square of a 4 that is why it is saying that 16 4 into 4 is 16 this is similarly uh, this is similar to the math dot power function where we say that 4 to the power 2 and if you try to print it is going to have the 16 outcome so this is again a very uh, key operator we are not going to use much this in our real time development but this is uh, good to have in our mind that there is something where we wanted to get the exponential outcome we can definitely use these operators in javascript so this is about the basic introduction and some of the practical implementation about the javascript operators thank you for your time and uh, in the coming videos we'll talk about a very important concept which is difference between double equal and triple equal